Calgary Flames entered the 2022-2023 season with high expectations. There had been significant change in the organization with the trade of Matthew Kachuk and the departure of Johnny Goudreau after a 50-win season and a disappointing playoff loss to their Alberta rivals, the Edmonton Oilers. No player would have felt that loss more than Jacob Markstrom. A dozen of trophy finalists, he just wasn't able to find his game versus the Edmonton Oilers, and that extended in the last season. I'm up for the challenge to, to get back where I want to be. Jonathan Huberto, who came in the trade for Matthew Kachuk, he had set records as a left winger that were significant, a frontline player, so the expectations were high for Jonathan. I know what kind of player I am, and it's been a tough year, but it's how you bounce back, and that's what I'm gonna do. And Nazem Kadri coming off of a Stanley Cup, a great competitor trying to come into a team to help them reach that next level. Well, it didn't turn out very well for the Calgary Flames, and certainly for Jacob Markstrom, Jonathan Huberto, and Nazem Kadri, the 2022-2023 season is not one they're going to look back on fondly. It's unfortunate we're all disappointed, but there always can be a bounce back. So now they enter this season, and we can talk about them being under pressure. But what does that mean? If you haven't done it, or you're not sure of yourself, I think the pressure mounts to a greater extent. Jacob Markstrom has been an elite goaltender in this league. You look at what Jonathan Huberto did setting records in elite forward. And Nazem Kadri is an elite center that can compete and contribute in so many different ways. So as the Flames enter this 23-24 season, these three players are going to feel the pressure. Not outside pressure, but the pressure that they know comes with being elite players and performing their level of their own expectations. And this is where the focus will be as the Flames enter the season and try to turn around what was a disappointing finish to last year.